Hello everyone, this is Simon Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giant Sports talk and entertainment. And today we're going back to the criminal files of Online Big Blue. Uh, so, you know, I shouldn't make a joke of it. Um, DeAndre Baker has been formally charged with four counts of robbery with a firearm by Broward County. Um, he's formally charged in connection, of course, with the incident on May 13th. He's been accused of stealing cash, wash it, watches at a house party. If he is convicted, he his punishment is a mandatory minimum in the state of uh, state of Pennsylvania, state of Florida, of up to ten years to life in prison in a state prison. He he's not going to go to a country club prison. I mean he he's going to he he's going to a state facility. Um, they declined to file charges against Quentin Dunbar. Who, who, due to insufficient evidence, I'm also curious and wondering if potentially they cut a deal with Quentin Dunbar. Um, that is one of my other. That is one of my other questions. Did they cut a deal with Quentin Dunbar to prosecute against or testify against DeAndre Baker? Now that's all just speculation. Um, but for him to now be formally charged, I mean, he, you know, he's facing up to ten years to life in a state prison. So, from a basketball perspective, basketball, from a baseball, baseball, I don't know what sport I'm talking about because I'm so flustered by this today. From a football perspective, we're not seeing DeAndre Baker on the field this year for the New York Giants. There's, ju- there's just no way around it. I mean, that's, that's, he, he's, he's done. I mean, he, he's finished with the team. And for him to be charged, it seems that everything that his attorney told us, you know, probably isn't true you know the whole fbi thing and how he was being framed and everything else and it seems that you know what we've been saying all along that there there's just been too many changes in the story repeatedly for us to believe that deandre baker did nothing and then for them to go after deandre in reference to going after him with the subpoenas and going after him i'm excuse me, not subpoenas with the search warrants you know, and we even said back then, Broward County would not have gone after him with a search warrant if they thought he was innocent. If if he was working directly with the federal government and if he was working directly with the police department. So, I mean, it's, it's, it's a shame. I don't think just his NFL career is over. I think his giant career is over. And, and it's, it, it's a perspective from, you know, it's a cautionary tale. That you need to watch out who you hang out with, where you go in the off season, and we we've seen this too many times just at sports in general, not just with the Giants. That someone with the immense or someone with the talent that DeAndre has at this point in time potentially could be seeing himself in prison for the next X amount of years. And I love it when people are like, "Wow, you know, he's got to be innocent. He's got to be innocent." Well. You know, at this point in time, it, it looks like he's, he's, I'm not saying that he is guilty. I, I am, trust me, I am not saying that he is, he is, he is guilty right now. But I am saying that it's very interesting that this is happening now and that DeAndre is probably, DeAndre's probably going away for a while. I mean, we hope he's not. I mean, you know, I, I, I don't want anyone to go to jail. But, of course, if you did commit a crime and you did commit armed robbery, I, you probably have to go to jail for that. And for him to be nailed on all four accounts, you know, I am still wondering. I'm clicking away because I'm trying to find out some other news, too. Um, I'm just wondering if potentially he, like I said, potentially if Quentin Dunbar turned around and, and is, will be testifying you know, with the prosecution against DeAndre. Because that's the only thing I can think of. Because these two were so ingrained together during this whole situation that you would think that potentially maybe he is going against DeAndre. He's going he's gonna to turn evidence against DeAndre. I, I don't know. You know, but it's, it's, not a, it's not a good look for the Giants. It's not a good, good look for Dave Gettleman. It's not a good look, look for the organization in general. I don't want to talk about what replacements we could bring at this point in time, only because of the fact that we are talking about a young man who is potentially going to jail for 10 years and beyond. So I think the circumstance of football and his perspective is kind of ancillary to what's going on in his real life. 
But from a Giants perspective, I mean, I think you you gotta you gotta cut them. You gotta you gotta just you know you gotta get rid of them. I mean, it's it's sad to say, but I think that's the um, that's that's the perspective that we need to take on this. And like I said, football right now to DeAndre is secondary. To the Giants, yes, they they already kind of knew they were probably going to be an extended period of time without DeAndre. But like I said, it just makes it a worse situation for the team. It makes it a worse situation from Dave Gettleman. It does not give us the look that we probably wanted to have, you know, going into this season. And you know, I I feel for Joe Judge because poor Joe Judge to me in my mind is got to take all this crap. You know, every day it's something different with the Giants. And this is probably not what he signed up for when he signed up to be the Giants head coach. So, well, you know what? That's a stupid statement. Of course, this is not what he signed up for when he wanted to be the Giants head coach. That was a stupid statement. But, you know, it, it, I can't even say it comes with the territory. But like I said, Joe is a smart guy. I have a feeling that he's going to figure out a way to make things work. You know, we can always scan the waiver wire. We don't know who's going to be waived. Uh, later coming up in training camp uh, at the end of training camp. So there could be some guys on the market that we could, you know, that we could potentially go after. But like I said, I, I just don't, I just don't see it. And I feel bad for DeAndre. I'd be feel bad for his family. You know, you, you, you reach the pinnacle of an NFL career and then you do something like this. So I don't know. Like I said, we'll see what happens. Well, you know, we can, we can only, we can only hope that the situation for DeAndre is takes care of itself and like I said, we are not looking at this from a football perspective. I think that would be selfish. We need to look at this from a perspective of the guy that's going to have to deal with potentially going to prison and losing his entire NFL career. And more than likely, the Giants are going to avoid his contract. Now, the Player Association will file agreements. He'll probably get a small settlement. He might not have to pay back some of his bonus. But that's probably what's going to happen. So I got them. This is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, when we have something like this, we do not close out with the music because this is not a day to play music. So again, this is Tim with Online Big Blue, bringing you the best in New York Giants sports talk and entertainment. And as always, if you would like, if you could subscribe, you can ring the bell. That would be awesome.